On today's episode, I'm going to show you and share with you a three-step system that will serve you very, very well if you use it on how to make tough decisions. Now, we all struggle with tough decision making. Hopefully, after the end of this video, you will struggle that little bit less. Let's get into it and thank you for joining me and spending your time with me. Let's go. Now, speaking in the context of making tough decisions on your own and as a team, just remember the baseline where you need to start off with is don't ever forget you have to have a tough conversation first with yourself and then with your teammates. Don't be soft on yourself. You have to be harder on yourself than anybody else in the industry in your team can ever be because then you'll really be ready to make a tough decision. So remember your baseline is speak to yourself with a tough tone and have a tough conversation with your team. Now the first point which you have to start off with. So that's step number one. When you are about to make a tough decision on a person or with a person, start it off easy because people in their minds complicate this conversation and this process to the point where you get analysis paralysis. If you are, for example, a leader in a team and there's a, there's a team member that's non-performing, um, simply walk up to them and say, what would you like to see happen going forward? You know, that alone, that phrase may engage the conversation, the difficult, the tough decision that needs to be made. Listen, I'm not built for this. We, about a half an hour ago, just before I walked into the studio, I had a resignation of somebody that wanted to resign and somebody that their team leader loves them to bits. They're an absolute rock star. They were placed in a sales environment and they just can't handle the pressure of selling. And they wanted to move into the buying environment because even though it's also a pressurized environment, it is less pressure to perform on each and every lead and more go and serve the customer and you know evaluate the vehicle, give feedback. Somebody else makes the tough decision. So he doesn't want to be the number one guy. He's comfortable being the number two or the number three guy and giving the feedback and then buying the vehicle. So boy walks in, you know, I'm, I, I can't handle this, I want to resign. So what, what would you like to see happen? You know, I'd really like to move to a buying department. Boom, 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 conversation, one, two, three. He's happy, he's staying, he's in the right seat. Hopefully he's going to be able to go a lot faster than he is now. But having the conversation, not complicating it in your mind, just asking the person, what would you like to see happen going forward that makes you happy? Boom, step one, done. Now, step two. As a leader, you need to remember that if you are too indecisive, if you are going to go and analyze each and everything, I'm not saying don't, you have to have a process. Uh, if this, then this, if that. But you, you are too indecisive, you sleep on it too long, the problem or the situation or the thing that you're trying to resolve just gets bigger. So allocate yourself a certain amount of time. I always say this is a 30 minute problem. In 30 minutes, this problem needs to be eliminated, no matter what. Ignore the phone for 30 minutes, process all the issues, boom, make a decision, move over. Because if you allow a time, a problem or an issue gets bigger and the feel is seconds. The more seconds you allow that problem or issue, the bigger it becomes. Step two, done, boom. Get ready for step three. Make the decision and move on already. Don't go and get stuck in a place where, oh, have I made the right decision? Oh, what if it doesn't work out? Oh, what if I did it differently? I've made a big mistake six months ago in our company. I chose to back a horse that at the time, at the time, was a winning horse. A Couple of months down the road, that company, that carrier, that insurance carrier company, went belly up, it literally, got liquidated, putting me at risk, unfortunately, putting some of my customers at risk. Fortunately, we're a dynamic company and we were able to secure contracts for those customers and our company that was put at risk to be protected. Everything is cool, we go forward. But if I go and think about it, based on the information that I had six months ago, it was still the right decision. I'm very happy that I made the decision that way even though it cost me uh, quite a bit of money later on but the decision was made i made it i moved forward if 
things change or if new information comes up, you can always go and tweak and learn and just adapt and readjust. But step three is make the decision. Don't linger. Don't think about it. Whether it's the right or the wrong decision, only time will show you. And when it does, you can always adjust. You only lose when you give up. Thank you very much. If you like this message and my state of mind that I'm trying to inject into you, please leave me a comment. Also do subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get your notifications via the notification app. Have a beautiful day. Take care and be decisive. Bye-bye.